Okay, so I had a request to um, go over installing the uh, Slither tool, which uh, provides um, uh, audit uh, services, if you will, for Solidity. Basically, what it does is when I it helps you. It's sort of an automated tool that helps you find problems. And remember, auditing is really just debugging so what it can do is it can detect all different kinds of problems you can write custom analysis you can um, print graphs and stuff um, and what what we're going to do tonight to start is just install it and do a very simple um, running on a very simple thing. So there are multiple ways to install this. Uh, you can, let's see, it's down here. You can use pip3. Oh, first of all, you're required to have Python 3.6 and above and the Solidity compiler. Now, I just verified both of those. And you can see I have. So this is one easy way to do it. You can also do my favorite way, which is to clone the thing. And we can just run these commands. It should work. Uh, no guarantees. As you know with this stuff. And then let's see what it didn't like. Ah, I'm probably not in the right directory. Huh? Am I? Yeah. Set up that pie there. Uh. Ah, okay. Okay, what I want to do is now let's see if it lets me. If it doesn't work, we have an alternative. If you do not, then minute. Okay. So we'll we just all we're gonna do then is add pseudo. See if it likes that. There we go. Yeah. And okay, it's running. So if I have access to it here. Yeah, this is good. So we can do, I think this will work. So you can see
what it's see what it's telling you. not like this one. if we can find another example. Um, that I can use so. So let's go back up here and we're going to go to got some warnings and hmm. try something else Let's make a copy of this. Because once I can see, let me try something with my performance contract. Not sure if it built anything. 
Um, oh, I see. I have some test things here. Let's do it. That might work a little bit better for this. I just want to verify that I can compile something. Gotta find one I can use. Well, this is just giving warnings, so let's see. Let's change Solik to Slither. See what we get. Okay. Four results found. And you can see now that it's uh, a little bit of messing around here. You can see we managed to uh, get something out of it. You have to, um, one of the things is I'm using a newer version of uh, Solidity there. So I think that can confuse the issue. Plus, I was thinking that you would uh, get some, uh, I want to verify that uh, it's actually a building, which it is. And we may be able to do this with, um, let's see what else we got in here. Anything that will compile. So we can do, we just, which is the one, let's see if we can do, okay. So it has a whole bunch of stuff here. Info detectives. And this is just a bunch of compiler warnings. Um, that you get. So it is info detectives telling you things should be removed, um, various things, reentry. Okay. There's just ways you can improve this. Now it's trying to do a bunch of... Okay. So as you can see, this is a... This is quite an involved tool. But once you learn it, it will help you uh, find all the, uh, the things about your contract. And, you know, allow you to produce better code. Um... And this goes through this article here talks about talks about it. Let's see. Can you get ah, you can download it. 
So this goes, this here goes into all the detail on how you might use it to improve your contract. So hopefully this has been helpful and hopefully I answered the questions that, uh, that were asked. Um, again, there are other alternatives to install it. You can just use pip install, uh, uh, right here, pip3. You can use docker if you like, if you're a docker person, um, because that kind of separates everything out. So, um, again, hopefully this has been helpful. If it has, um, please give a like, uh, please, uh, subscribe, ring the bell, share it with your friends who might be interested, and I will speak to you next time.